Checkpoint threat emulation was designed specifically to prevent zero-day attacks. Threat emulation performs four key steps in addressing new attacks. The first step is inspection, where files and email and downloads are identified for processing. Checkpoint applies advanced techniques beyond blacklisting and whitelisting to filter out safe files using heuristics and a proprietary analysis engine, leaving only suspect files selected for emulation. Next, the selected files are uploaded to a virtual sandbox on a local appliance or in the cloud. The virtual sandbox is a protected virtual environment that prevents infected files from escaping into the open when the files are launched for testing. In the emulation step, the file is opened and monitored in multiple Windows OS environments and Microsoft Office versions. This means that older systems that still rely on XP will be protected, as well as more modern OS versions. Changes to the file system or registry, or unusual activity in network connections or system processes, tell us the file is malicious. Files identified as malicious are blocked in the prevention step. Malicious files are stopped at the gateway before infecting the network. No infection means that remediation time and effort are eliminated. Before Checkpoint Solution, malicious files would reach and infect user systems while the files were being analyzed. The business could be compromised for hours or days. If you are familiar with the jump from intrusion detection to intrusion prevention systems, Checkpoint is making a similar move, leading the evolution from detection to prevention, stopping zero-day attacks and new threats, not just detecting them. In the final step, newly discovered threats are fingerprinted, with signatures, IP addresses, and domains for threats sent to the threat cloud. Once the threat information is in Threat Cloud, they are instantly available to protect other gateways. The four steps, inspect, emulate, prevent, and share, stop undiscovered attacks. Now let's see threat emulation in action. Say you receive a resume from a job posting or through a referral. How do you know that it's safe? Let's run it through threat emulation and see what we get. This is what a threat emulation report looks like. Check file system activity and notice Google Service.dll and Google Services.exe files appear innocent. But they are malware. Why would a PDF need to modify, create, or even touch these files? Check the system registry and notice that Internet Explorer registry keys were being modified. Why would a PDF need to do this? Look at system processes. Has ieexplorer.exe started? This could be a sign of a future man-in-the-browser attack. From network connections, note that this is not talking to an Adobe Update server. This is likely a command and control server communication. Checkpoint Threat Emulation identifies these behaviors as malicious and stops the threat before it infects your system. The discovery and prevention steps happen within one to two minutes. We use patent pending technologies that have been proven to emulate over a quarter million files with zero false positives. We built in file inspection heuristics such as positive elimination of files that assure that only suspicious files are emulated, completing the process as fast as possible and optimizing performance. Try it now. Submit a file for testing via email or through our threat emulation portal. For more information, contact a Checkpoint sales representative.